Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. A slightly different video, it's not a reaction, it's not a prediction. I'm going to be talking about my top five of the year, my personal top five. So I'm still making my top 39 video, so hopefully that will upload fine without any problems <laughs> and you'll get to see everything in order and with a comment for each one as well. And I'm still always changing my top 39, moving things up and down. Uh, that happens all the time anyway. Um, but yeah, with this year, I've, I've said this before in another video, I think this is a really good, strong year. There's so many songs that I really like. There's songs that are not in my top 10 that I would like to be in my top 10, but they can't because they can't physically fit. And even everything from 1 to 30, I like. There's not, me there's not that many songs that I don't like. So even if there's a song that looks quite low in my ranking, I do actually still quite like it. So yeah, I don't know about how you feel, but I love this year. I think it's such a good year for quality of songs. And I think in a few years' time, I could probably be looking back at this year and saying that it was one of my favourite Eurovision years. <laughs> but I do say that quite a lot every year. It just keeps getting better and better every year. So for my number five, it took me a while to decide if my number five was Bulgaria or Switzerland. I, I had them both together and I couldn't really work out which one I preferred. Um, but I have now finally decided that Bulgaria is my number five, so I'm giving a special mention to Switzerland, <laughs> almost made it, and I do still really like that song. But yeah, Bulgaria is my number five, growing up is getting old. I think one of the reasons why I like it is because of the sentimental value of it, the emotional side of it. Even the name of the song, Growing Up Is Getting Old, that's such a cool name for the song. It's got a really nice meaning to it, the lyrics are really nice. I think lots of people can relate to it. Um, even the music video was kind of emotional as well, in a way. Um, yeah, it's just, it's got some really nice lyrics, it's really meaningful. Um, and I prefer it so much more personally to 2020 tears getting sober i know lots of people liked that and i know that it was a favorite to win i personally think that this is so much better than that but that's that's just how i feel um and yeah it's just really nice and i'm interested to find out how it will look on stage, how you can get that point across on stage. That will be interesting to find out. It's very creative, quite theatrical. I said in my reaction video that it kind of reminds me of Kate Bush, which is another reason why I like it, because I love Kate Bush. She's like my favourite artist of all time. And yeah, there's something about that that kind of reminds me of her. Um, but yeah, it, it's just really nice. Um, in terms of how well it will do, I will be doing a video in a few weeks' time about the potential winners, who the potential winners could be. So I'll talk more about that in that video. Um, for now, I can't really picture Bulgaria winning. Um, it could happen. But for now, I, I just can't really imagine it. But if it does happen, if they do win, I'll be really happy with that. My number four is San Marino Adrenalina. Now, I have never had San Marino in my top ten, let alone top five. And this is by far the best ever entry. Um, biggest surprise, biggest improvement from a country that I can ever remember. Everyone was so pleasantly surprised when they heard it. It's like something that you'd expect from Azerbaijan, Greece, Cyprus. And I, I think even without Flow Rider, I think it would still be good. It would still be a bop. I think it will probably get San Marino's best ever result. 
and yeah it's just really catchy and from all the upbeat songs that we have this year and there are a lot of them it's probably one of my favorites it's interesting as well how this is what they're doing now so could this be like the start of something new for San Marino the birth birth of a new age <laughs> the birth of a new age for San Marino could they start improving more and more every year from now on it's interesting because yeah this, this is definitely their best ever new vision entry so my number three is lithuania the voop discotheque and this has always been in my top three in well back in february when we only heard about 10 songs it was my number one and then it got moved down to two and then it's never been below three. So that's a good sign. That means that I like it a lot. I know a lot of people say it came out so long ago, it's boring now, the hype has gone. For me, that's not really a problem. I've always liked it. And I'll talk more in my winners video about the whole theory about a song coming out such a long time ago that it changes the opinion or it gets boring. I'll, I'll talk more about that theory in my winner's prediction video. But yeah, I really like the song itself, the beat. It's really fun and catchy. The choreography, the colours, the whole quirkiness of it, the whole package really. And compared to this song from last year, On Fire, that was great. I think this is actually even better than that and let me know what you think about that which one you think is better i think this is a tiny bit better than on fire and i think either way in 2020 if it went ahead they would have had lithuania's best ever result and i think they will still get lithuania's best ever result this year i still think it can win actually again i'll talk more about that in another video but if it does win, yeah, I'll be happy with that, and I think it can. So, we've now arrived at my top two. And my number two is Finland, Dark Side by Blind Channel. So, this is one of those songs where I like as soon as I hear it. On the first listen, I immediately like it. And that's probably one of the reasons why my top two is my top two. Yeah, as soon as I heard this song, I thought, yeah, this is good. I'm interested. I don't usually follow Finland's national final, UMK, but this year I did watch it and it was really good too. Um, but this was such a clear winner. Like, this just had to win. It's perfect for Finland. There was just no other option. I really like the Linkin Park vibes and I just... I like the fact as well that it stands out from everything else. In fact, both of my top two stand out in their own way from everything else. It's always good to have diversity, different types of music. I didn't know who Blind Channel were before UMK, before Eurovision, but I've been listening to their other songs as well, and I really like them as a band. They've got some really good songs, so if you like Finland's Entry this year, then I recommend listening to other Blind Channel songs, because you'll probably like them too. So yeah, I think Blind Channel are one of those Eurovision artists that I'm going to continue to follow after Eurovision. So that's always nice to have that. I'm sure the live performance is going to look great. It already does look great from the first live performance that we have. So it will be even bigger at Eurovision. So yeah, I can't wait to see that. I think this is going to be one of those televote songs that needs the help, needs the votes from the public to do well. Um, and I hope it does do well. I hope it gets top 10, actually. I'd like it to get top 10. I think it could. And now we have my number one, my winner of the year. If you watch my videos, then you probably already know it's Italy, Zitti e Buoni from Manuskin. So first of all, my reaction video to this song, to the live performance, got taken off YouTube because of copyright, which was really annoying because 
of all my videos that had to be taken down. It had to be that one, my favourite song of the year. Um, yeah, that was really annoying, but it's because the live performance at San Remo was taken off YouTube, so all the reaction videos to the live performance have gone. So it's not just me. <laughs> but yeah, that video, my reaction video had just over 9,000 views, so hopefully if you did see it, then you'll know how much I like it. This is another song, like Finland, that immediately grabbed my attention. Again, I don't usually watch San Remo properly. I don't normally follow it that closely. This year, I followed it a little bit more closer than I usually do. And when I heard this song, I thought, oh yeah, this is really cool. Like, imagine having this at Eurovision. That would be so cool. And they won. They won San Remo. And... God, yeah, I, I just love this song. It's so good. Like, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I just love it. It's so different, so fresh. I, I just love it. I listen to it and I don't get bored of it. It comes on, I turn the volume up and I'm living. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just don't get bored of it. It's just good all the way through. I love the rapping, the rock. All of it. There's a YouTuber, a Eurovision reactor YouTuber called Jordan Davis. I love his videos. And he did a reaction video to this song. Again, it won't be there anymore now because it got taken down. But he mentioned the fact that it's good all the way through. There's not just one moment in the song. Because sometimes in a song, the chorus is the best part. And there's like a build-up to you know, to like a strong part of the song. But with this, it's just good, like all the way through the verses and the chorus. So yeah, I definitely agree with that and can't wait to see it at Eurovision. But again, in terms of how well it will do, I'm not getting my hopes up for Italy to win. <laughs> I'm not really expecting them to win. I think it's too good to be true. But I would love that. I... I thought that Soldi 2019 was my favourite Italian entry. I thought, surely they can't do better than that. But now I'm thinking, like, this is my new favourite Italian entry. Like, Italy is just one of the best countries in Eurovision, and I think they should win at some point. They need to win at some point, because they've been so close over the past few years. So if they won with this, that would be so cool. So there we go, Finland and Italy, my top two. And I think, like with Finland, I think Italy, again, will be a televote song rather than a jury song. I'll talk more about this in my winners video, but I think it's going to need help from the public for it to do well and to even get close to winning. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's interesting how... My top two are both rock songs, but they're different types of rock. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. So there we go. That is my top five. Bulgaria, San Marino, Lithuania, Finland and Italy. And the rest of my top ten I love as well. Even my top 15 I love. Top 20, <laughs> like I said, there's so many songs that I love this year. So there we go, that is my top five. Feel free to let me know in the comments what your top five is. It could be completely different to mine, um, but that's fine. We all have different tastes of music, different opinions. Uh, but yeah, feel free to let me know. Um, could the winner be from that top five? I think it could. I think the most likely winner from that top five is Lithuania, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments on my semi-final videos as well. Uh, hopefully my top 39 videos should be out soon. And some more videos after that as well. But until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.